welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay-at-home mom of four. I also run the budget shop Purple Glimmer Budgets which is where you're going to find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy or also my website purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I are on a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash stuffing method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you'd like to follow along with, just keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to be stuffing this week's Etsy earnings. Before I get into the video, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm on a quest to reach 1,000 subscribers, and once I reach 500, I plan on doing a giveaway on this channel. The giveaway will most likely be open to U.S. residents only, so definitely keep a lookout for that. Also, if you have a moment to interact with my content, that's also appreciated. It can be something like a thumbs up or chatting with me in the comments by introducing yourself or just telling me what you liked about the video. Okay, now let's get into the video and get this cash counted. There should be $710 here. I am super excited. This has been one of my best weeks that I've had on Etsy in a long time. Um, I'm hoping to make this consistent. Um, I ran a sale, so this is probably unusual, but this is definitely like a goal week for me. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna have a lot of cash to be able to play with, so I get to have fun with it. So let's go ahead and get this counted. Um, it is 100, 250, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 700, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect, it's all here. I did get quite a few ones because I wanna play some of my game challenges and I do that heavily in ones because I have no idea what I'm gonna end up with when I'm playing the game. So I try to make it so that way I don't have to try and hunt down some singles. So I get pretty heavy on the ones. Um, so that's why that's the case. Um, I do anticipate that I am going to be changing up my lineup as far as videos and when they post on my channel. I really want to get into doing some additional savings challenge videos and push myself to save a little bit more money. Um, so I think my stuffings and unstuffings are just going to kind of get um, pushed around. Um, I think I'm going to do um, stuffing my month ahead binder on Mondays and call it month ahead Mondays. And then I want to do some like mini challenges, which I know a lot of people normally do those on Monday and they call them like Monday minis, but I think I'm going to do those on Tuesdays and I'm going to stuff um, $2 per roll. So I'm going to call it $2 Tuesdays. So those videos are what I want to kind of start doing going forward to kind of build up my savings a little bit and have some fun. And then I just got to figure out my normal three videos on where I'm going to put those in the week. So that's just kind of a future cast of how my channel might look going forward. I'm going to try it out. If it doesn't work for me, then I'll shuffle it around. I just got to wrap my head around like a filming schedule and what would work for me and go from there. So things might get a little wonky on my channel, so I apologize for that. But let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, as always with my stuffings for my Etsy earnings, I start in this wallet or in this binder. So this is my Etsy expense binder. So this is where I pull my expenses from. Yeah, I'm slacking. I should have already pulled June, but I was slacking in May. Did that like mid-June. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and add to this. So for supplies, I'm adding 150. I'm doing that all in 50s. So 50, 1, 150. So I have quite a bit in these, so I'm probably going to try and do an unstuffing whenever I get a chance to kind of go through my expenses and such. Um, but right now I have 152, 53, 50, 1, 2, so 352. So that should be plenty to cover my expenses for the last few weeks or a month or so since I unstuffed. Um, I still have my expense tracker that I need to erase. I just haven't gotten to it. So I can be a little slackish when it comes to this because the expenses get paid. I handle it a different way. Um, I'm trying to like move towards handling in cash, but for now it's the cash pays off what it goes for. So let's see, this is equipment, I believe. And I'm putting in a hundred. 
I'm still trying to decide if I want to get that cameo. I was really excited to get it. And then when I got the cash, I'm like, do I really want to spend it? So that's what I'm loving about this cash savings and cash budgeting is that like, it's really making me have to double check on like things that I'm big purchases I want to make. Cause I'm like, do I really want to spend that money? Cause now it's putting like a tangible factor towards spending the money. Cause I'm like, I could use this cash elsewhere. So that's kind of one of the nice benefits of cash budgeting. So I have 500 to 600 in the bank, 721. So I definitely have plenty to get whatever I would want within the Cameo 5. I'm still kind of trying to decide. Um, some instances it would be nice to have. And then in other instances, I'm like, is it really going to work the way I want? Because there have been some things that the Silhouette has come out with for their Cameo that just hasn't been executed very well. And so like in theory, it's great. Um, but when you get it, it doesn't work quite like it is. So I need to dig more into the reviews on it and see if what I want it for is actually going to work or if I'm just going to end up with something that's not that much better than my Cameo 4s that I have. And then who knows if I have to adjust my cut settings and then it complicates running my business. So I just have to think through that process because efficiency is a very important thing to me when it comes to filling orders. I try to be efficient so I can keep my processing time down. Now my processing time on Etsy is highly inflated because I just don't want to stress myself out like running against a deadline. So I think my processing time is usually like two to three weeks, but I try to get it out in like three to five days at most. So that's just my personal goal. So anyways, moving on to taxes, I believe it's 175. Yep. So 150, 70, and five. So let's see what we have here. Taxes. Five twenty, and then there we go. So we have one thousand in the bank, two thousand in the bank, one hundred, two hundred, fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one. So that's twenty three fifty, twenty forty five six. So two thousand three hundred and ninety six is what I think this is towards taxes. So that's definitely a good amount. So subscriptions, I think I'm doing twenty. So let's get this in here. So I have 120, 35, 6, 7, 137, which is good because that should easily cover my Canva subscription, which I did look up, it's 120. And then my instant ink subscription is like $15 or less. So that should kind of cover all of that. And then miscellaneous, I'm also doing 20. So let's see what we have in here. So I have 50, 70, 85 in miscellaneous. If I can ever get this envelope. Then there, there we go. So and if you'll notice, I did go ahead and transition all of these envelopes into my new version of my leopard sparkle envelope. So it is a nice durable factory made envelope. And then I put clear sticker paper to kind of um, emulate the look of like a handmade envelope. So I really like how these turned out. So I'm using them in my business expense wallet. So I'm gonna move this out of the way so that way it doesn't get in the way. And then what I had been doing when my shop was doing really well is I wanted to cover this binder's worth of savings and this binder's worth of savings, but my shop wasn't doing the best. It was making like two to $300 a week, which wouldn't cover all of this, but I'm super excited. This is a great week. So I wanna go ahead and get ahead in this a little bit. So then that'll free up my normal weekly stuffing to be able to put it elsewhere. So we're gonna go ahead and contribute to this, which is kind of gonna give us a head in July, but that's fine. So let me grab the purple. It was right next to me. I have like two of these purple because I bought a huge pack of them and I couldn't find it. it was, I thought it was over there, but it's not. So I'm gonna do the 80. So let's grab that from here. 20, 40, 60, 80. And put this in here. So 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 510. So um, 310, that is exciting. We are plugging away at this. And when this is all said and done, I will have saved $5,000. So that is super exciting. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And then let's move into this one. And it's July. Let me grab the blue. 
And if I remember correctly, I am contributing 49. So I think I'm doing seven days worth. So seven times seven is 49. Yep. So 20, 40, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So let's go ahead and color in seven more of these jigsaws. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So we should have, I'm trying to do the math. I think $63 is what I'm guessing because that's just doing mental math. So we will see. So put the 10 here, the five there, and then these singles here. So we have 20, 40, 55, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, so that's 60, 1, 2, 3, perfect. So my mental math is still on point a little bit when I'm fully rested and not being driven crazy already by my kids. Um, I took my boys to swim camp this morning and then my girls are upstairs in their rooms watching an iPad um, so I could get this filmed. My husband didn't get home in time enough for me to get to the bank yesterday, so I had to do that after dropping my boys off. So I'm just trying to squeeze this in. So we're plugging away at that. And this is getting really, really nice and thick. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And then I think that leaves everything to use this wallet with. So I like to have my cash tray like this when I'm working in this wallet so or this binder. So let's go and figure out what we want to do. I am going to go ahead and start with Yahtzee because I like Yahtzee. And then it'll kind of give us an idea of what we have to work with for the remaining challenges. So I'm gonna leave what I've already saved in there. I'm gonna grab my thin purple marker because it's just easier to write with on this. And then I will grab these, which has my dice. And we will see. Okay, so my five dice, let's me move this in so I can get to it better. Okay, put them all back there and let it roll. So one, two, so there's really not much of anything there. I've done all my straights, so nothing was doubled. So I've done my threes already, so I don't want to try and go for threes, but there aren't any there anyways. Mm, let's try sixes. So I'm going to take the six out of here so it doesn't get knocked, and then I will just take these remaining dice and see. Okay, so I don't know what to do because the pink just made the green switch. I'm going to go ahead and just call it good because, yeah, we're just going to call it a five. So I'm going to go for my fives. And I'm going to take these out and hold on. So that gets me three of a kind at least. And then I'm going to see if I can get more fives because like, if I was just rolling on a normal table, that would count still too. So we'll just make it count. As long as I play consistency, that's fine. So I didn't get anything else good. So 15 and 10 is 25. And so that's what I got on my three of a kind. So let's go ahead and mark this in here. So comment below, if you were playing Yahtzee, would you have counted that? Or would you have counted it to what it was um, before it got knocked by the pink one? So let me grab 25. And I think we have a decent amount left. So I'm going to play another game of Yahtzee because Yahtzee needs some love. So let's see. I think as long as I play consistency, it's fine. So I got three of a kind there already. and But four of a kind is just adding the dice. So having four ones as my four of a kind isn't going to save me a ton. So, but I could go for the Yahtzee. So we're going to keep the three ones and we're going to see if we can get Yahtzee. Otherwise, I'll just count it as ones and call it a day. So. Holy shnikes. So I was totally not expecting to get Yahtzee on ones. And I was not expecting to get Yahtzee on my second roll. So that is super exciting. It seems like I've been having no problems getting Yahtzee when I've been playing these. So... We will save the 50.
I was not expecting that. So 20, 40, 50, and then we will call this good because we just saved $75 on Yahtzee. I'm gonna see if I edit that normal reaction out or not. I'm gonna probably keep it in because I didn't really say anything completely bad, but I was completely shocked. I shocked myself on the last time that I got the Yahtzee because if I remember correctly, I was a couple dollars short with having the 50, so I had to steal from my son. I paid that back, but it was just, I wasn't expecting it. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, perfect. So that was 75, so let's see what we have so far in the game. I'm not even gonna get begin to, to try and add that up because um, I did it the last time and I messed it up. So let's just get the bills organized. So I definitely see that I'm going to need to do a cash consolidation here soon. So I will probably get to working on that and see if my kids will cooperate and give me some time. Otherwise I will just wake up early tomorrow and do it and just do my planning while they're running around being crazy. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 179 is I think what that is. So that is great towards Yahtzee. And then let's see what else. So I have 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So I have $41 left. Let's go give some of these that I haven't been working on some love. Let's, I probably will play that at some point. Um, haven't done Clue. I need to make myself new scratchers. Um, I wanted to do... I don't have enough to do this one. So I'll give that some love the next time. Um, let's do some of this to see if we can kind of like close it out a little bit. So I just need one dice, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And the only way to do that is gonna be with the three And then two ones. Kind of having to pick and choose here. Now let's see. Five. I'm just going to save six because I'm running out of, I don't have any fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then... I'm gonna roll once more, and if I can get a three or a one, that's what I'll save. Otherwise, I'm going to round it up to a six, and then we will call this one good. And I got a five, so we'll do six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Did I color the six in? Uh, I don't think I did, so. Let's color this in. If I did not color it in, then, or if I did color it in already, I will just add six from something else later. So I should be able to tell if I did. So six plus, so one, two, three. So six times three, six times three is 18, plus four, 22 minus 231. So I should have 209 here if I colored in the six. So. Let's see, I need to get all of this. So, let's see. So that's 100, so I should have 109 here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, perfect. So I am on track there. So I just have a few more rolls to do and we might just finish this up here soon. So that is exciting. And then let's see what we have. So we still have 15, one, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
So let me see Battleship, because I really wanted to do Battleship. I don't remember where I put it. Where is my Battleship? It's past Rubik's Cube. I just didn't go far enough. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of Battleship. I think I should be good here. I think I can do at least one. Because if I hit, there's two, and then... 25 is so I should be able to do that so let's let me grab the right ones and then we will just play so I got two so let's see what these are c10 and e6 so c10 is a miss and then e6 is a miss so that is two dollars and we will keep playing and then D1 is a hit. So that's $2. Let's keep playing. And then D3 is a miss. And we're just going to call it good. So that should be $6 saved. Let's make sure it's right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, no, that's right because I only got one hit. So let's put this here in my discard. So these are all the cards that we've done and those are all the cards that are still left. So perfect. And then let's see how much we have total saved. I know I need to start giving this one some more love. I just got really into the Rubik's Cube because it's like my favorite challenge. So 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40 saved towards this. So 252 when it's all said and done. So let's see. Let's do Scrabble. I need to swap this to my new board because I got to playing this and I'm like, I need to tweak this a little bit. And so the way I tweaked it is not only do I have the letter distribution, but then I also have the letter value. So that way you don't have to like dig in to find what some of them are. So let's see, pick seven tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need one more and I'm gonna try and make a word. Let's see, so you can see I'm not looking F. Wow, I don't really have much of anything, but let's see what we can do. I can do with, I just had to ask Siri if it was a legitimate word and it is. So W H I, and it tells me it's with two F's. So F I H W. And I'm using my purple one because my black one's not really working. Um, I'm gonna clean that up because that is just horrible handwriting. So. Um, I have the F, so I don't have to look it up. So that's awesome. I have a double word score. Awesome. So it is four, eight, 12. I'm adding. So one, two, three, four letters are four. So that's 16 plus one is 17. 17 times two is 34. Do I have enough? One, two, three. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Of course I do awesome and I don't have enough. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So 15, so I have 19. So 34 minus 19 is 15. Um, I am trying to think of what I want to do. So for now, I'm going to put this over here and so I have a 20 floating around. So I'm gonna put the 20 and take the five back. So then that's 15, so I should have 34 here. So 20, five, 30, one, two, three, four. So we just went $15 over this week, which is fine. Um, so I will reduce that from a video coming up. $15 is not the end of the world. Um, guess what I'm going to do to kind of keep things balanced is I'm going to steal from there. So I'm just going to write myself an IOU to my $5 challenge. So one, five. And 
If it has the 20 in there, that would be perfect because then I'll use the five that I took for 20 and make it all good. And there is a 20, so I'm gonna take the five back, add the IOU, and now we've balanced and I haven't stolen money. And I have replicated that, so let me also, I'm just gonna put the IOU in the front because that's gonna let me know, hey, Katie, you owe this money back. So, there we go. And it's perfect timing because my youngest is getting a little restless. Hopefully you don't hear her whining, but she's upstairs whining. So I need to go deal with that and leave you guys here. So hopefully you had fun watching me do my Etsy earning stuffing. Of course, I ended up into an IOU, but it is what it is. I figured it out. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you made it all the way to the end, drop me down your favorite purple emoji. So I know you made it to the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.